Courageous and gallant defence are the words displayed on the new plaque that now stands outside Government House to commemorate the efforts of Naval Party 8901 in 1982. Forty years ago, on the night of the 1st and 2nd of April, Argentine forces invaded the islands to be met by the joint forces of Naval Party 8901 and the Falkland Islands Defence Force. They were eventually forced to surrender after putting up what has been described as a ferocious defence of Stanley and Government House. We're about to do something which I think is partly to um, honour a particular group of veterans, but also to help redress, I think, a historic wrong done to some people who were prepared to risk their lives in the defence of Stanley and Government House. The honour we're given today, to, particularly to Naval Party 8901, when we unveil this plaque, is an honour that nobody else has ever given us. Okay? So I would like to thank the people of the Falkland Islands, especially for that. Ready to go, are we ready? Ready to go. Right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. That is very, very emotional. surrender happened um, and it, it was over. We were given the honour as the Naval Party 8901 having been here on the 2nd of April by General Moore um, and to raise the, the Falkland Island flag and then coming back down here today for, for our detachment to have been given the honour of the of the, the plaque that's there which which is really tremendous and I was given the honour to unveil it. It's a double honour for the detachment but it's also particularly emotional double honour for me um, to have been the person that's done it. Yeah. You unveiled the plaque you said that it was an emotional moment it so was, yeah. sort of I, what... I had a tear that trickled down here then. <laughs> And so how, yeah. how does it feel, obviously, you know, to have, have both of those honours of raising the flag and 40 years later to be unveiling this flag and have the Naval Party recognition, which I think is long overdue? Yeah. I used to be about five foot two. Now I'm about six foot two, and that's just solely with pride. And, that, and, that, and that's how it feels. Emo, emotional sort of pride, appreciation, and a thank you to do. And I know the people of Falkland Islands continue to thank us, but... After the war, we really, really thank them. No gallantry awards were ever given to the men of the Naval Party who defended Stanley on invasion night, meaning that the plaque is the first official recognition given to their efforts on that pivotal day in the Falkland Islands history. I, I think it's just an incredible privilege, to be honest. These are such brave guys. They're so humble, um, so lovely, and I think they haven't, fully understood just what they mean to the Falklands so I think that that was something we were trying to redress today but it's very hard to get over just the sheer level of, of gratitude uh, that we feel for them but yeah it was a special moment I think. The Fortnite's Defence Force helped during the defence of Stanley on invasion night and also helped to unveil the commemorative plaque. I mean it was a real honour to be invited to do it and the Royal Marines have a, have a great association with Stanley in particular. Uh, Naval Party 8901 have been here since, uh, since the early 1960s and I've worked with them uh, through most of the time that they were here. Uh, they were our trainers, they were the people that uh, we, uh, we socialised with. At one stage I even had my own bunk at, uh, at, at Moody Brook Barracks. So yeah, they were part of the community and it was really good to see all these friendly faces again the other day. A small gathering was held at Government House after the unveiling of the plaque for veterans of Naval Party 8901, the FIDF class of 82 and current serving members of the Armed Forces and the Defence Force. The Royal Marine Corps of Drums also performed a mess beating. We can never, never say thank you enough but we will always be grateful and you will always have a very special place in our hearts and without a doubt you have earned a place of special honour in the history of the Falklands. So thank you.